guys to my new video after learning all about arrays in C++ language today we need to start learning all about strings in C++ so don't forget to like my video subscribe to my channel and let's start our video first what is a string in C++ C++ strings are sequence of characters stored in array and char array. Uh, it's used to store words and text. It means char characters like A, B, C, D. It can be capital uh, letter or small letter. Uh, they are also used to store data such as numbers and other types of information. Strings in C++ can be defined either uh, using the std string uh, it's a class or class or the c style character arrays the c style character string in c programming language a string is defined as an array uh, of characters that ends with a null termination character the termination is important because it tells the compiler where the string ends in C++ also supports C style strings. It's mean in C++ the strings of the array it end with the termination character. Now how to declare uh, and initialize a string. The following declaration and initialization create a string consisting of the word hello. Here I need to print the word hello using a string. First, it's a char, it's a character. Uh, greeting is the name of the string or of the array. Uh, six is the size. And I put uh, hello, the, uh, uh, the letter H, E, L, L, O, and finally the termination, uh, the termination, the slash zero. It's mean this array it's terminate here uh, in O to hold the, uh, the not character at the end of the array the size of the character array containing the string is one uh, more than the number of characters in the he word hello if you follow the rule of array initialization uh, then you can write the above statement as follows using string uh, you write hello like this char greeting equal hello following is the memory presentation of above the defined string in c and c++ char str 10 it's mean char is the data type the character str is the name of the string and 10 is the size of the string this means that this a character array it's mean a string using 10 characters for example char s6 equal hello this is uh, the memory it contains the word hello and it contains five k's the first is a H, E, L, L, O, and finally terminate with the uh, slash zero. And each, uh, each uh, a character have an, an address in the programming, like here H have an address 0, X2, 3, 4, 5, and 1. the strings library the c string library or header c string in c++ defines va uh, various string function uh, that can be used to perform various operations on strings full of string manipulation functions we have first str cpy it's copy uh, copy strings 2 into strings uh, string 1 uh, is a 
standard library function in C and C++ and is used to copy one string to another string. The syntax is str copy s1 s2. We will see all the, the, the C strings library in the uh, examples and exercise in next videos. Now, the second library is str cat. It's a function takes uh, two character arrays as the input. It concatenates uh, the second array to the end of the first array. The syntax is str cat s1 and s2. And str len. The str len function returns the length of the given string excluding the null character the syntax is strlen s1 it's return the length of string 1 strcmp uh, is a built-in library function of c++ which is uh, prototyped and uh, defined the uh, c string header file this function takes string as argument uh, and compares then uh, to check quality. The syntax is str camp, uh, camp s1 and s2. It returns 0 if s1 and s2 are the same. Less than 0 if s1 less than s2. Greater than 0 if s1 is greater than s2. str uh, l w uh, r the function is a built-in function in c and is used to convert a given string into lowercase the syntax is str l w r str the name of that string and converting this uh, the string into a uh, lower but the str u p r is a uh, function is used to convert a given string to uppercase. The syntax is str upr, uh, the name of the string, and it's converting the str string into a, an uppercase. It's all about array in C++. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any question, contact me on Instagram. And don't forget to join my WhatsApp and Telegram channel to get the PDF course. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.